Hello Sagittarius, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your bonus reading for the first half of October. Thank you guys so very much for coming in first as the most viewed video for the first half of the month. We are going to be taking a look at what spirit needs you to know about your connection for this reading. General reading as always guys, it won't resonate with every single person. Please do take from this what makes sense for you and release what doesn't. And if you're interested in your own personal private reading, that information is down below. And I'll include a link to all of the cards and creators that you see here today, Sagittarius. These are the three decks that we're going to be using to start things off with. The first is the Signs from Spirit Love Oracle by Mystic Moon. And then we'll grab a card from the Lost in Time Oracle by Calico Moon Oracle. And lastly, the Sacred Ancient Wisdom Oracle by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. So let's start, guys. Let's see where this is going to go for you for this bonus reading. I don't have any questions or an agenda for this reading. Whatever comes through is whatever spirit or angel guides want to be able to communicate to you at this time. All right, Sagittarius. And for cross watchers, anyone else who's been guided to tune in, what is your first focus message guided to this card? We have 333. Three. Okay, this is Trinity. Mind, body, soul, you are in the zone. Express your true, authentic self. And perhaps this is something that you've either had to work through, or maybe this is an area as well that your person is working through at this time. Okay, so we'll see how the rest of this plays out, of course. Angels and spirit guides, what's our next message? All right, so lost in time. Lost in time oracle. What's your second focus message here? I'm guided to this card. Winter, pause, go within. Okay, so we just entered into the fall season. It depends on where you are in the States, but here, it, where you are in the world, but here in the States, we are in the winter season. Um, perhaps things are frozen right now between you and this person here, and you're being asked to go within. And which for me is very hermit-like in energy. Kind of go within and try to really tap into your own vibrations, your thoughts, your feelings, where you're at on this journey between you and your person. Okay, so we'll see, of course, why that's coming through in this way. But, I mean, the card right next to it, mind, body, and soul. Express your true authentic self. You are in the zone. And maybe that's why there is a pause here between you and your person because you're just working on you for now and maybe they need to work on parts of themselves as well. So let's grab our third focus message here. Sacred Ancient, Ancient Wisdom Oracle. All right, let's grab this one. We have travel. Make plans, time to move on. All right, so Possibly around the winter time, some of you guys are thinking of traveling, perhaps for the holidays, making plans that way. But this is also an indication here for some of you guys that it's time to move on from where you've been. It's time to create change, you know, letting you know you are in the zone of wherever you're at in your life, that it's time to move on from the past, perhaps. So we'll see how that all comes together. All right, guys, so those are your three focus messages, Sagittarius, so far for this reading. So we will continue to dig a little bit deeper here to see where else this is going to go. All right, so we're going to grab some insight from Mystic Moon Oracle's deck. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Sagittarius for this bonus reading. First half of October. What else does spirit need you to know about this connection? Why is there this need to move on for some of you? Look at this. Another card letting us know that there is a pause here. Okay. Two different decks. Same message. Pause. So this is already letting us know here, Sagittarius. There's not a whole lot of movement going on between you and your person. And there's a reason for that. And look at the next card. It's due to this. That third party situation. Yes, of course, this can be infidelity due to a third party, but it could also be just a situation that's coming between you and your person. It doesn't have to be infidelity and cheating and lies. Although for some of you guys, yes, that is the case. 
But for others, there's something else going on here that's preventing you guys from coming together at this time. Somebody may have refocused and gone in a different direction. And that's why there's a pause here. Part of that issue might be that somebody failed to recognize just how special a bond you guys had actually shared and they entered into the situation with somebody else. And so now we've got this barrier that's preventing movement towards you guys coming together. What else, please, for Sagittarius? We have the fall now, okay? We, we're in the fall season as of right now. So we've got seasons, time of year, popping up here, Sagittarius. So something of significance might come through for you during this fall season that we are in. Okay, and obviously we've got the winter season reflected right there. So something major is about to go down, I feel. And then we've got big dreams. Part of these big dreams, I feel Sagittarius has to do with you. And perhaps your person had big dreams that they wanted to pursue in their life as well. And that might be driving a wedge between the two of you also. Maybe they're just working too much or they're trying to pursue a, a particular career and that's taking them away from you. That could be a part of the problem for some of you guys feeling ignored by your person. And that created this barrier for some of you guys because not everybody is dealing with a third party situation by way of infidelity, but there are those of you that are tuning in that are. All right, so let's continue. Let's see where else this is gonna go. This is the Divine Love Soul Connections deck by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. This is actually the first time that I am using this deck. So I haven't even looked at the messages. So let's take a look. It'll surprise you as much as it'll surprise me as to what's coming through here. All right, angels and spirit guides, please, for Sagittarius. What else do we need to know for this first half of October for your bonus reading? What else does spirit need you to know about your connection right now? Good luck. Good luck charm. Okay, maybe you considered this person to be a good luck charm, Sagittarius that they brought you luck in your life and maybe that's how they feel about you too. Now look at this for next message. We have traveling, all right? That looks like Paris to me. So something maybe where you guys had planned to travel and go abroad, maybe, or something about this location throughout the world. Maybe this these are places that you guys had talked about going to dreams that you guys had these big dreams of traveling perhaps and of course during the pandemic that's kind of been put on hold for a lot of people but you know we're in a new normal and maybe some of you guys are wanting to be able to travel with your person still now for some of you what i'm also feeling here because it's falling right below the third party is that some somebody here either yourself or your person they do a lot of traveling for work purposes and that kind of pulled you guys apart. They were gone a lot. That's just kind of what I'm feeling. And then we have denied coming through. Okay, so whoever decided to refocus and go elsewhere ended up rejecting whatever these plans are for traveling or just denied the relationship and just wanted to go in a different direction because they weren't getting out of it what it was that they were looking for. This could be you, Sagittarius, that feels this way. This next message, in the feels, feeling blues. All right, so somebody's really sad here when it comes to the emotions, the feelings of this relationship because more than likely there's a barrier, somebody refocused, or traveled away from the relationship and moved on. So, I mean, the blues are coming through here. Very sad energy, Sagittarius. You could certainly be resonating with that for yourself. Someone's feeling sad, but they're definitely still feeling high on the love connection between the two of you guys. Now look at this, we've got promises. So some of these promises could have been some of you guys were engaged to be married or you talked about a future together of really being able to spend a life together, long-term commitment by way of marriage. But for now, there's a barrier towards reaching that, but this card is falling right below fall, 
which can indicate the season, the time of year that we are in, but it could also indicate that this relationship fell apart. And so whatever these promises are, maybe those promises were not kept. But look at this, romance in the air. All right, so I have a feeling here, Sagittarius, that you guys are still wanting to revive this connection. There might be a pause here for now because maybe you guys both need to kind of go your separate corners, go your separate ways to reassess where you're at in your heart. And you personally, Sagittarius, going towards that trinity energy of the mind, body, and soul, maybe you really need a time away from this person and just bring yourself back into balance. Maybe there was a part of you that just wasn't being true to yourself at the time that you guys were together. But through this energy of this card, you're in the zone, you're expressing your true authentic self to you. And this is something perhaps that your person needed to work through for themselves also. Okay, so let's add to this with some tarot. This is the Pining Rose Tarot by Calico Moon. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Sagittarius. What else do we need to know here when it comes to this relationship, this connection? You guys are clearly having some issues here. But the love is still here. And with a stroke of luck, you guys might just be able to work this out considering where you're at right now. So for some of my feminines, you're coming through as the queen of pentacles. A nurturing, domesticated woman, a financial provider is what this particular card says here. So pentacles, energy is earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus for some of you guys. I feel my feminines, you know, you're able to really provide for yourself. You can stand on your own two feet. You don't need anybody really to help you out in that department. But as far as where you guys are at right now, things aren't going well, I feel. There are challenges that are presenting itself here. Possibly that whole third party vibe. It's not easy, the journey that you guys have been on. And maybe this is a time for you to be very nurturing with yourself. And then we've got the seven of pentacles. So we have more earth coming through here investment hard work paying off growth this is one of those cards where you got to just wait and see how this goes more time is needed here and you know whoever has been putting in effort working hard to ultimately fix what's broken between the two of you hopefully that'll eventually pay off but it's going to require time to see if this all ultimately works itself out and I'm also feeling here for some of you guys, either yourself, Sagittarius, or your person, whoever has gotten themselves in this third party situation, you know, possibly really working very hard at a job, at a career, therefore taking them away from you or you taking yourself away from them, however way that's presenting itself here, because travel is involved here for some reason for some of you guys. But, you know, this could apply to a third party where there is infidelity and cheating as well. And then we've got the chariot coming up next. We've got cancer energy, more travel. This is another card talking about travel. So there's definitely something going on here by way of travel that is needed. But the chariot is such a beautiful energy because it's movement. It's action. Okay. It's a very triumphant outcome, letting us know that you guys can overcome the challenges that you have faced that put this barrier up to begin with now look at this we do have a page of pentacles coming through here so my queen of pentacles the page of pentacles so for some of my feminines perhaps your masculine is younger than you the page of pentacles a young person with good news a financial opportunity laying the foundations is what that says right there and the page of pentacles too is somebody who can be very ambitious. They definitely go after what it is that they desire. They can be very diligent. They need to focus on the good parts about love, but they tend to focus on what not so good about it as well. You know, um, this person I feel are just very realistic in how they see the situation. But I do feel my feminines that if you are focused on this type of person, they will eventually reach out to you and deliver whatever this good news is, you know. And I'm also feeling, even though they might be younger than you, for some of you guys, this person can also stand on their own two feet. They are able to create a solid foundation for themselves in their life as well. 
certainly financially. But it hasn't been easy for either of you. We do have this Three of Swords. You know, this does represent heartbreak. Hurt, sorrow, grief. That love triangle, which is a problem for some of you. It is a problem for some of you guys. Now we have another page coming through here. Page of Swords now. A youthful person, new communication, new ideas, curiosity. So we've got two pages and we have a queen. So I feel here... That represents for some of you that third party you might have gotten yourself involved with two masculines here and as a result you kind of ended up hurting yourself as a result of getting yourself in a situation where this involves three people and it can only go one way you know it, somebody's gonna have to go in order for this to be somewhat successful it has to just come down to two people who care enough about each other to make it work to keep the promises, to really explore the dynamic of where this romantic connection could go. And perhaps somebody, whoever it was that felt that they were the oddball out, needed to refocus and leave the situation, may have traveled away from this relationship because they knew that ultimately it wasn't going to work. This was a third party situation. And some of you guys might have entered into that third party situation either unknowingly or really not on purpose, it just kind of went in that direction for some of you guys. So I'm not surprised to see this energy of the moon because it is deception, lies, secrets, illusions, you know, the hidden truth, not being able to face those truths, whatever they are. So it's really fitting going back to the 333 card, express your true authentic self, because I feel with that energy of the moon, somebody was lying somebody wasn't being truthful either this was you Sagittarius or it was your person whoever it is that you're focused on for this reading this is picking up off of Pisces so it could be Pisces for some of you guys now we've got the eight of swords right after that so we've got air energy Libra Aquarius Gemini for some of you guys self-imposed restrictions that victim mentality Imprisonment is part of the vibe of the Eight of Swords. Isolation. Something that either this is you doing this to yourself, Sagittarius. Feeling imprisoned in your own head over what's hap happened here between the two of you. Or this is a part of what your person is struggling with. But at the end of the day, somebody walked away, you see. Somebody walked away from this. They abandoned the connection because of this third party element. So whoever it has detached, especially I feel this for my feminines, you've detached. You're refocusing. You're working on you right now. You're focusing on yourself. Soul searching. And then we've got the Ace of Wands coming through here. So Wands, of course, Sagittarius, that's your own fire energy. New creative inspiration, potential growth, and action. Okay? The Ace of Wands is wanting you to go after what it is that, that inspires you. Whatever it is that you desire. Whatever or whoever it is that you desired. But introducing this very creative way of going about it. And then we have the Five of Pentacles. So we've got... Pretty much all the signs represented here. So five of pentacles. Somebody was left out in the cold. That lack mindset. So whoever was left out in the cold, definitely feeling it. You know, winter, pause. Whoever was left out in the cold is definitely feeling the fact that there's no movement going on here between the two of you. But look at this. We've got the Nine of Cups. Okay. So Nine of Cups is wishes ful fulfilled. Satisfaction. Gratitude. This could also indicate somebody who might be drowning their sorrows too by drinking a little bit too much. But there's comfort and satisfaction in the energy of that Nine of Cups. And that's what they want to restore in this relationship, I feel, Sagittarius. And then we've got the Judgment card, okay? 
So rebirth, inner calling, decisions, absolution. So that judgment card is letting you know that eventually judgment day will come, you know? And there's the opportunity to resurrect this. Even though you guys have been through a bit of a bumpy road, you guys went your separate ways, traveled away from each other, or somebody just really needed to get away and travel the world maybe to just get away from it all and to just really refocus and think to reassess and reevaluate where things are. But this judgment card represents a new phase here. Another reference to the revelation of the truth, because that's where you guys need to be coming from is honesty and the truth. And when there's a third party element to this, you guys are not facing the truth. And so moving away from this, dealing with it and possibly detaching from it, and coming towards each other, just wanting to tell each other what's really in your heart space, what's really the truth here. And if part of that truth is that you guys still love each other, you care for one another, you know, you want to be able to reassess the relationship and make promises to one another that perhaps at one point in time were broken promises. But as this card states, you know, romance is in the air. It can be revived. The judgment card ultimately represents a wake-up call to get somebody's attention here. It's like, wake up. If you don't take action here, it's going to be a missed opportunity to fix this. But somebody is definitely looking for a reconciliation and forgiveness here. That's what they're looking for, Sagittarius. Maybe that's what you're looking for as well, if that's something that you resonate with. There's this need for forgiveness and to heal from what happened so that you guys can move forward either moving forward on your own and just finding love elsewhere and moving in your own direction or moving forward to work this out together bury the past and start over start fresh you know forgive it and let it go ultimately is what needs to happen here forgive it and let it go but this hasn't been easy by any means i mean that three of swords that's very painful that's heartbreak right there that is heartbreak so that heart needs to heal and this good luck might ultimately be what you guys need in order to fix the damage that has been done in this relationship okay so i wanted to add to this with some messages from the journey of love this is by bridget from divine essentials this is volume one and two i have combined both of them so let's see where else this is going to go for you and your person for this bonus reading sagittarius what else does spirit need you to know about this connection what else does spirit need you to know Number 15, karmic. This taught us our lessons. Blessings. So it might have been a blessing in disguise that you guys have experienced this. There were karmic lessons that were attached to this experience for some of you. We've got number 25, loyal companion. My love is unconditional. And maybe you really needed to see this, Sagittarius, considering there have been infidelities and secrets and lies and deception attached to this third party for some of you guys and all you're wanting is loyalty from your partner and then we have number 40 i can hear you telepathic so even though you guys haven't been together the telepathic communication certainly is here you might still be feeling this person's energies sagittarius what else please We have number six, faded. I'm sure this was all meant to be. So this was a part of the journey that you guys were meant to travel in this lifetime. Even the pain, the hurt, third parties, love triangles, it was a part of the lesson. It was a part of the journey. But you guys perhaps could also be a couple that is meant to be. And look at this next card. Things are coming together now. Number 23 is all about alignment. And the next message, number 10, I know we can do it. The two of you coming back together to be whole once again. And last message, we have 
number eight, which is ascending. So there's a potential for ascension here in this partnership. We have a special purpose, my love. And part of that purpose is to learn the lessons attached to this experience so that you guys can stop the pattern perhaps of what could have been happening before and move forward from that, learn from it, forgive each other and just learn from it and really just move forward, move forward. And I just glanced at the next card. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Number two, marry me, wifey material, fulfillment. Okay. So for some of you guys, this is leading towards a lifelong commitment that truly can lead towards happiness and joy, fulfillment, marriage. So it may not even seem like it right now. But there certainly is the potential to take it here. Oh my God, the next card. Look at this. I mean, would you say yes? Number 35, insecurity, marry me, wifey, material fulfillment. Would you say yes? I feel whoever resonates with this certainly would. You know, but this person, whoever is going to be getting down on their knee and proposing, they're not so sure. They're not so sure that whoever is proposed to would say yes, because they are insecure. They're afraid that maybe there's been too much damage that's happened here. But I really ultimately feel that they're just really insecure about where things are for now. But part of the healing journey here is to heal that part of themselves, to heal that thought process so that you guys can find happiness once again. So that's such a beautiful energy. All right, guys, I wanted to grab some additional guidance from, well, I'm just guided to pull from my Sugar and Spice Oracle. I've been using this one quite a bit. Maybe you guys have noticed. <laughs> it's an interesting deck that I've created here. A little naughty, a little nice, a combination of both some challenging messages as well because it's not all sugar and spice all the time. All right, Sagittarius. What else does spirit need you to know here? You guys still love each other though. I do feel that. I do feel that but you know for now we do have a barrier and it's gonna take a little bit of time to remove that barrier we have strawberries coming through somebody might really like strawberries here grab the whipped cream and champagne and let's explore every inch of each other tonight so the chemistry between the two of you guys those intimate moments I mean, Sagittarius, if you've ever questioned if they still desire you, certainly sexually, they absolutely 100% do. Okay. We have peaches coming through. If all you want is a booty call, your, your butt better move along because you're barking up the wrong tree. This booty is meant for bigger and better things. So, you know, again, getting rid of that whole third party element. It's not just a booty call that they're wanting after all here Sagittarius or what you're wanting after all what you're wanting here is long-term commitment towards a happy life a solid foundation in the partnership marriage building a life together sharing a home having children someday you know we're talking long term we have marshmallows also coming through I feel like I'm on cloud nine when I'm with you. I love your sense of humor, our lighthearted conversations, your pillowy lips and tasty kisses. Your love makes me feel like I'm floating on air. You have the sweetest smile that brightens up my day and night. All right, so if that resonates with you, Sagittarius, something about someone's sense of humor. Maybe there's, when you guys get together, there's just lots of laughter here. And those intimate moments, the way they kiss you, the way you kiss them, tasty kisses, I mean, the lovemaking, it's, it's very joyful, it's very intimate, it's very special. And the way you make them feel, like they're on cloud nine, they're floating on air. And isn't it interesting, 
how this says romance in the air. So there's this reference to air. So some of you guys could be focusing on an air sign here. Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. And then, oh, look at the next message. We've got air signs. I was just saying that. Pancakes. Air signs. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I love how simple and uncomplicated our love is. Our conversations are pretty light. Nothing too heavy. I can still taste your sweet kisses. You know how to tantalize and satisfy me without a single word. You're sheer perfection and I can't get enough of you. All right, so this just clarified for some of you guys. It's an air sign that you're thinking about here. And then we have cumin coming through. Come in, I won't bite unless you want me to. I'll make sure all those parasite exes you've dealt with in the past stay the hell away. Love with me is far from the mundane. I'll keep you on your toes. Of course, you don't have to worry about keeping physically active. I've got that covered too. All right, so for some of you guys, this a third party could have been an ex from the past and somebody ended up getting into a situation, third party situation with an ex while they were with you or you were with someone else, Sagittarius. It could really go either way. Okay, so that's what's representing itself here. All right, guys, so if any of these resonates with you, take whichever one you're most guided towards, of course. All right, and then I wanted to grab some additional insight from my Heart and Soul Love Oracle deck. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Sagittarius. What else do we need to know for this bonus reading? What else do we need to know? We have fulfilled. Somehow the universe knew that I was unfulfilled, something missing in my life, but I always tried to hide the pain through a tough exterior that covered such vulnerability. When we met, I was empty. My cup is now overflowing with love because of you. Because of you. Okay? And they know this. Sagittarius, they might have messed up by entering into a third party situation, but after really assessing the whole situation and where things ultimately went between the two of you, if the relationship fell apart, you know, hindsight, they, they now understand and realize the error of their ways and that their cup is overflowing because of the love that they have for you and the love that you ended up giving them, you know, high on love. And then we've got road trip. So we have another reference to travel here. I will walk through life with you any day, any time, always and forever. Just hold my hand and don't ever let me go. Let's travel this journey together. As long as you're with me, the road ahead will be an amazing adventure. Yep, some of you guys really enjoyed traveling together. And you can have more of those adventures, Sagittarius. You can have more of that. If you guys are open to it and you can meet in the middle, this is a workable situation, I feel. And then here we are with the Divine Masculine. Okay, so my feminines, if you're watching for a masculine, you know, they definitely want to be heard through this reading. I am powerful, but I don't always know it. I am strong, but tend to hide my weaknesses. I am confident, but I can be vulnerable. I can make you laugh, but I can be serious when I need to be. I'm here to bring your life joy and happiness when you're feeling sad. I know how to love, but sometimes it scares me and I run from it. Take me for everything that I am. Don't try to change me. I am who I am. All right, so that's a message from the masculine here. And look at this. We have cozy coming through. And remember, this was one of the focus messages, that winter energy where things are cold and frozen. But even out in the snow, you make this person feel very cozy. Loneliness can feel so cold when we allow ourselves to wallow in that darkness. It's amazing how uplifting and comforting the right person, the right kind of love is. This is how your love makes my heart feel. Warm, loved, cherished, even on the coldest of days. All right, so that's 
what this person definitely wants to communicate to you, Sagittarius, for this reading. That's what Spirit wants you to understand. That, first of all, they still love you. They want to have more adventures, traveling adventures with you. And perhaps part of what it is that they want to do is travel back to you, especially if you guys live really far away from each other. All right. So I wanted to grab some dialogue messages here. I got to find that deck, though. Hold on, guys. It's here. Here it is. All right. I wanted to grab some dialogue messages. This is another deck by Bridget from Divine Essentials. It's called Soul Whispers. So let's give you and your person the opportunity to speak up here, Sagittarius. So some of these words could be coming from you. And some of these words could be coming from your person. Angels and spirit guides for this bonus reading for the first half of October. Who needs to speak up here? What needs to be expressed at this time? Whoops. Okay, well this person is coming through saying you're better off without me. And I feel that's because their lessons perhaps have not been fully learned. They're not ready to come towards you. That's why we do have this barrier that is presenting itself. Okay, so that's for some of you guys. There's still a barrier that's up. But in time, I really feel that that barrier will be removed and they will be able to come towards you. Wanting a second chance, perhaps. And that's a part of that energy, that wake up call, you know? Letting them know that if they don't get their act together, then they're going to end up losing out. I hate being so far away. Okay, so to me, going back to that whole thing with traveling, somebody lives very far away from you or you live very far away from them. That's why there's this need to travel, to see each other. The next message, let's begin a family. Yep. You know, because we do have a couple of cards here talking about marriage, proposals, building a life together, sharing a life together. And then we have, do you trust me? And I feel this is huge because with a third party situation, trust is broken. So this is something that you guys are going to have to work towards. With you forever. Okay, so once they recommit Sagittarius, I really do feel that they're in it for the long haul. They're not going to go anywhere. Next message, you make me feel alive inside. Okay, you bring this person to life, Sagittarius. Maybe you really needed clarification of that. Well, it's coming through here in this reading. Okay, all right, guys. So let's close this out with some final messages here. All right, so I wanted to grab some messages from the Universal Heart Oracle, Guidance from Spirit, Your Guardian Angels and Ancestors by Angelic Revelation 144. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Sagittarius. Some final messages, whatever spirit needs you to know right now not necessarily just about your connection but just overall what you need to know right now in your life what is it that spirit needs you to know some final guidance your guardian angel wants to share exciting news with you there will be many opportunities to be more social and connect with your soul family and develop close bonds of friendship with them. You will be happy and blessed and share successes with others. Your generosity and compassion for others will open the door to abundance for you in all ways and unable, oops, sorry, and enable you to live a more extravagant life. A significant goal you are hoping to achieve will be realized soon. That's so beautiful because remember, if I can dig it out over here, some of you guys have these big dreams that you want to pursue, you know? So this is addressing not just your love life, of course, and a particular connection, but this is tapped into a life goal that you have for yourself. 
the next message. Spirit is calling you to be a mentor as you are able to give advice to someone who reaches out to you. Opportunities will soon arrive for you which will improve your life in significant ways. You will be able to pursue goals you have been putting off. A sense of security flows into you, into your life soon, as well as many social invitations and the opportunity to reconnect with close friends. That's beautiful. And lastly, your guardian angels are connecting with you to inspire your creativity. This divine inspiration is a way for you to connect with spirit, your higher self, and your divine partner. Embrace your creativity for this is a part of your divine destiny. Your creations will bring you high honor and recognition. You will be blessed in abundance for sharing your healing gifts with the world. As you create, you will heal yourself and you will reinvigorate and heal others on this journey. Wow, these are some pretty amazing messages. So if you are gifted and creative in this way, your guardian angels are certainly helping you on this journey to share it with the world, to share it with others. Okay, so that's what's coming through here, guys, when it comes to this connection and some additional guidance from spirit in regard to your life. So I hope whatever part of this brought you peace and guidance that you need at this time. Sagittarius, I do hope that it helped you out. And if you're interested in your own personal private reading, that info is down below. Thank you guys so very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.